Now this is an excellent example of a warm roof that we are just about to lay. We've already put the insulation down and that's already over the top of the vapour barrier. You can see that we're laying the tongue and grooved OSB over the top and that's being fixed with thermally broken fixings. There'll be more fixings added to the external edges to stop the wind uplift but because it's all tongue and grooved it fits together and is very very securely fixed. Because this is going to be a liquid system all joints that are in between the boards all have to be sealed and you can see here they're all sealed and they're all reinforced so that if there is any movement in the roof there is a double reinforced joint at that particular point. Now here you can see we are reinforcing everything right away through because this is a fully reinforced liquid system rather than some which are partially or non-reinforced. The difference being that this is a 25 year roofing system that we're laying here. So once we've laid the reinforcing fleece completely over the whole area we then have to flood the area with the top coat. This is so that we've got complete saturation right the way through. All joints of the fleece have been overlapped and all edges have been overlapped onto the adjoining roof. Now the advantage of this particular system is called a wet and wet system. It's laid all in one go. The first coat, the fleece and the second coat all in one go. That means that the weather, if it was to change, doesn't get in between different layers and we, we you could get lamination. This is seen sometimes with glass fibre roofs. Of course the other thing is with this particular product that I'm using here is that it's fully flexible. If I were to be able to take any of this up, I'll be able to wrap it up and put it in my pocket. Thanks for watching.